All right, beautiful people. Welcome to our chat about the card of the week. Um, so as I mentioned last week or a few weeks ago, I'm really, I've been feeling into this card of the week live um, and kind of trying to figure out if it's really resonating with me or not. Um, and imparting the, re the information is very resonant for me, um, but doing the lives at noon on Friday is a little bit hectic with my schedule. And um, so what I'm going to be doing instead is I will actually be recording a video sometime during the week and I will post it to YouTube um, so you can find it on YouTube on Fridays. Um, and that's, I think, going to work better for everybody involved because I've also been noticing too that not too many people have been showing up to the noon lives. Um, so just a little bit of a shift as we uh, feel into this new energy. Um, but I love the card for this week. Um, it is so pertinent and so potent with the energies that have been happening. Um, we had the new moon in Taurus at the beginning of this week, and Taurus is so sensual and sensory and so much about like just really feeling into things. Um, and so the card for this week I pulled from the moon deck, and I don't actually have it with me because I lent my deck to Cassandra Wilder of Goddess Ceremony for her to use in a retreat this weekend. Um, she's doing her Creatrix Goddess training this weekend. Um, and then actually I'll be on retreat with her next week. Hi, Hannah. Thanks for coming on. Um, so, so she actually has my deck, um, but it's a beautiful deck. And if you haven't seen it yet, um, you can find, um, you can find at the moon deck on Facebook or on Instagram. It's linked on the Facebook live right now. Um, and I'll put their website under the YouTube replay later on as well. Um, so yeah, just a gorgeous deck, but the card was, I allow stillness to heal and reveal. And what is that all about in terms of this Taurus new moon and this energy that's coming in? And, you know, all of this, we, we just got a heat wave where I am, like, there's this 80 degree weather, it's gorgeous out. And so it's kind of this time to say, okay, how can I really feel into life? How can I take the time to be still and to sit with myself and to sit with nature and to just feel and to just be? Um, so I really love just how potent this is. And especially, you know, we've been talking about these energies of Pluto retrograde, Saturn retrograde together until, um, September, allowing us to look at our inner child, allowing us to look at, um, all of this wounding that we've gone through in our lives and kind of dissect, go through it, dive into the shadows, um, et cetera. Um, and so it's, you know, it's giving us the time and space to be able to take a break from that a little bit. Yeah, to dive into it slowly and to continue that slow process, but also to just take a break and just be and to allow yourself to just be human and revel in that and relish in that. Um, so yeah, um, that's, that's pretty much what it is. Um, and it's interesting because I've seen a lot of people this week who have been telling me, like, I haven't really been giving myself the time and space that I need, including myself. I haven't been giving myself the time and space that I need um, with this crazy, busy schedule, right? And so it's um, even that two minutes of stepping outside and just quieting the mind and being completely still in that moment and allowing it to heal in the way of giving you that time out, giving you that break to just reconnect with yourself and reconnect with the world around you, um, and also to reveal. There are so many serendipitous things that have happened this week um, for multiple people, um, clients who have come to me or people who came to my workshop last night. I did Astrology 101 at the Remedy Room and it was so amazing. I love their space. Um, and if you are looking to host a workshop somewhere, it's totally recommended. Um, but yeah, um, hi Maria, thanks for coming on. Um, so, so yeah, you know, just like these little things I love you too. <laughs> um, there are just these little things that, that are kind of coming and weaving together and making themselves known in these little stillnesses where if we didn't take the time to slow down and to just be and to just relish in being ourselves and relish in 
our surroundings, then they may not make themselves known. Um, so I invite you to slow down, to take the time to be still with yourself um, and in nature if possible, um, and to just listen and, and quiet down and say, okay, what is this stillness? What is this silence revealing for me right now? Um, I'm going to I'm gonna do a little turnaround of this live right now. Oh my gosh, she's cracking up on my floor. <laughs> What's up, high vibes humans? <laughs> How y'all doing out there in the universe? I hope y'all are doing great. Just finished recording a podcast and now I'm just enjoying the energy of Rachel. <laughs> yeah, so breezy. That was breezy spread love. Um, you can find her on Facebook, Instagram, um, and goldenguyan.com. Um, we just did a podcast together for Bring Me to Life, um, Project Bring Me to Life dot com. Yeah, um, it was super super fun, and I really enjoyed collaborating with her. So, um, if you're looking to collaborate, I'm here. I love it. I enjoy it. Um, and um, you can check uh, check that podcast out later. It'll be on Bring Me to Life dot com, Project Bring Me to Life dot com. Um, so you can look forward to that. We dive into um, psychic diagnostics and ethics and um, the body mind soul connection and all sorts of stuff. So if you're looking for some space to kind of quiet down and tune in and also tune out at the same time and just kind of like chill, um, that might be a good way to do that to you. Um, she's like, mm-hmm. I didn't know if you heard her in the background, but um, anywho. So yeah. Um, so let's see what else. Um, June 11th, Major Arcana Madness happening at the Wellness Collective. Um, and I'm also doing another full moon um, workshop as well, the, the Magic in the Moon um, and the ritual to follow on the 27th, the day before the full moon in Capricorn. So you can check that out. And um, you can find both Breezy and I at Sweetgrass Sageburn this year. Um, you can check more out about that at sgsbfestival.com or .org, excuse me, yeah. I gotta get my stuff right. <laughs> like, what? Anyways, um, so that's about all for today because now I get to hop in the car and skip on up to Traverse City for class um, from 4 to 10 p.m. and then from 8 to 6 p.m. tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, that's this is why I'm no longer <laughs> gonna do these live. But um, you can definitely find the card of the week on on um youtube and if you have any suggestions for me as to videos that you want to see on youtube i am totally open and i i want to know what you guys want to know so um anyways much love to you thank you for those of you who have come on to watch live and thank you for those of you on youtube who have come to watch the recording um love 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 mm -hmm. rachel leah gerson doorway to self out Did you do Facebook and Instagram at the same time?